It's a pretty amazing building. I mean, there isn't really anything like this anywhere else in the country. So, Carl, when was the last time you've been to the Coliseum? Gosh, it's um, been about 10 years. This represents what Jesse did athletically, but his legacy was so much farther beyond what he did athletically. So in 84, you were chasing uh, that four gold medal, sort of that shadow. Yeah, in 84, I had to come in here and try to do that feat. <laughs> it was tremendous. Carl Lewis first qualified for the Olympics in 1980, but the U.S. boycott of the Moscow Games delayed Lewis's opportunity for greatness under the cauldron until 1984, Los Angeles. The moment is at hand. Carl Lewis, he's trying to step into immortality. He'd like to do what Jesse Owens did. Across nine days at the Coliseum, the 23-year-old etched his name among the most legendary performers. In the 100 meters, he was the world's fastest man. Here comes Lewis. He wins it. Granny is second, so he has his first goal. The next event on his program was the one that would become his signature, the long jump. Carl Lewis has just won his second gold medal. Two days later, he settled into the blocks for the 200 meters. Lewis wins the gold, and it's a one, two, three, American sweep of the 200 meters. And Lewis closed out his Olympic debut, anchoring the four by 100 meter relay. People are judged by the company they keep. In Los Angeles, Carl Lewis matched the great Jesse Owens feat of four track and field gold medals. So stunning was Lewis's athleticism, the Dallas Cowboys drafted him. The Chicago Bulls did the same, even though Lewis had not played either sport in college. But Lewis's passion raged for track and field. L.A. was just the start of an incredible four appearances at the Olympic Games. When I came into the Olympics in 84, I remember thinking that I would definitely get through this Games, maybe go to another, no way past that. And then the next thing you know, each Olympics came up and he said, okay, let's do it. <laughs> in all four, he won medals. In his signature event, he was never beaten. 35-year-old Carl Lewis wins his fourth consecutive long jump goal. He closed out his career as an eight-time world champion and 10-time Olympic medalist. Nine of his performances at the games were golden. In a sport that celebrates the fastest times, Lewis may be best remembered for the number of years that he stayed in the game with speed, power, and a brilliant flair for victory. At the end of the day, your legacy is what you leave behind. One day I hope that some kid says, I want to do what Carl Lewis did.